And hello everybody and welcome back to The Sims 3. Uh What's going on? Oh, it's Fireman Sam. Wait, there was a fire started? Well, regardless of that fact, it seems like Fire Sam Fireman Sam has left unless if that's Fireman Sam. No, that's some other person. I didn't realize he left. Well, okay, in any event, we are going to be continuing on with our adventures with the Sims family. Last time we were together, a lot of stuff happened. We met a new villager, and we... What? Murdoch, what are you doing in your, in your nightwear? Le leave Nikki alone. He, she's trying to talk to Ant. After all, we got to plan their wedding for him now. But yes, uh, we're, let's go ahead and turn that off for right now. But so yes, so we got to now plan for the wedding for our Aunt Nikki. And to take advances towards that, I sent Nikki to the future to grab the winning lotto numbers. So once I get her to go back to the grocery store, she'll pick up the winning lotto tickets. And we'll go ahead and take a look see to see if we win the three million. Because if we win the three million, it will allow us to do a couple things. One... It will allow us to buy uh, a plot of land, which I plan to make like into a, a nice wedding area. You know, just fluff it up with a nut, bunch of flowers and whatnot. And it will also allow us to expand on our village house, which would be very good and fantastic. So what I need to do first is we need to send Nikki over to this grocery store, which I've completely forgotten where it existed. Uh, where is the grocery store? Hey, uh, Nikki, could you go to work for me for a minute? I need to figure out where you work again. Uh, I really have forgotten where she worked. Well, I know she worked at the food place, I just don't remember where it's located. Uh, no, I don't think it's over here, is it? Nope, there it is. Uh, help with catering. Okay, yeah, we don't care about that. Restaurant... No, that's... Damn it, that's the restaurant. I'm really bad at this, aren't I? Uh, let's see. Mind, body, connection, bookstore, and spa. Yeah, we don't care about that. There we go. The icon was different. That's why I couldn't see it. Anyways, grocery store, buy winning lotto ticket. And we could become a partner there. Being a partner would allow us to get some money from it. The question is, do we really want to spend the 11000 to get it? Because we really don't have that much money that we can spend on. Well, in any event, Nikki's on her way to work. Dash get her winning lotto ticket. And we're going to take a quick minute here to check on Ant and see how he's doing. Okay, so he's doing pretty good for the most part. A little bit low in the bladder department. Yeah, okay, unplug that, flush it, and then use it. And then go ahead and take a shower. And after that, we'll have you take a quick meal. Uh, yes, we'll take a brain freeze in the mode. Oh, ho, ho, so fancy. So let's see, what does he want to do today? He wants to create a vile bliss. Don't really care about that. Join the medical career? Yeah, no. Uh, let's see, what's this one? Join alchemist career. The benefit of the alchemist career is that we could get him to create potions, which... I'll I like to use a lot. I like to use the, uh, oh, I don't remember what it's called, but the one that makes friendship go up quicker. Basically throw two of those at a person and they'll make you, them your best friend instantly. That was a close, oh yeah, that was just going through the motions of stuff. But in any event, after Ant finishes all that, we're going to have him continue practicing his writing. Because he needs to be able to get to the highest writing career so he can start earning them some mullions. <laughs> now taking a moment to look at Murdoch. We want to change the future of the world. We want to adopt a horse. I'm actually curious about adopting a horse. That would actually be interesting. Uh, ooh, we could send a love letter to someone. Who could we send a love letter to? I'm actually curious now, who does Murdoch want to send a love letter to? <laughs> who is that C Uh, oh, it's just a bunch of people he he knows in the future. Wait. <gasps> he knows some of the future Harris's! 
Oh, look at this. Look at Stacy Harris and Keen Harris, Judas Simmons. D these are all people he knows from the future. Come on. I actually was getting excited there for a minute. Well, in any event, go ahead and recycle those. And we'll uh, go ahead and take a look at buying a horse, but we can't get too far off track. Oh, yeah, I just realized I left Nikki at work. I probably should bring her back now. But we do have a little bit of money. So, what are we going to do? Well, I think we can actually look into a horse, because Ant is just going to continue on his riding skills. Because right now, we need to generate at least a little bit more funds. I'm hoping that we can either A, win half a million again, or B, get the real cool grand prize of three million. I got that once with my other Simoleon family, and they were just set for life after that. But what we can do instead is we can go... Oh, help with catering. Fantastic. That was actually her side job that she had, so she'll go ahead and do that. Oh, poor Pablo. We really should dedicate the spotlight to you sometime, shouldn't we? Poor putty cat. Don't worry. We'll give you something to do. We'll have Ballista Bot play with you. Uh, come back. I need to select you. It doesn't help when you move. Okay. Stop moving! Uh, let's see. Care. Let's brush Pablo. And then let's bathe him. And, uh, let's see. What else can we do? We can play Chase. Okay. So we're gonna have Ballista Bot take care of Pablo. You know, get him nice and groomed, nice and clean and happy. Loving life. And Steve, Why? I'm trying to have a conversation here, and you just go off and start playing with the music. Stop playing with the music. In fact, we need to try to find you a girlfriend. So go ahead and have a quick meal fiendishly. Uh, go have some juice. And let's see. Where could Steve try to find a girlfriend? Where could he do it? Uh, let's try the gym. Let's try the barbell house. Maybe that will work. Who knows? A lot of things can happen. But in any event, so Nikki is off here working in the uh, Baja Jag. I don't even know what that is. Barcage? That's not, that's what it looks like. Barcage? Kind of a B A R C A A J. I have no idea. Let's just move on. So Nikki's off doing that. Once she comes back, we'll have her build up her relation with ants, you know, so they can be really happy and possibly for maybe even have a luhu at the end of this. In the meantime, we're waiting for Steve to get a move on because it's almost 6 p.m. Come on, man. Go to the gym already. Make life. Dream big. Finally. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, the full moon descends. That doesn't change anything. Get over to the place already. Now I have to figure out where it is because you reorientated the map. Okay. Uh, I think it was off to the left here. Yep, there it is. Go work out, Steve. Uh, let's see. What was... Murdoch? Uh, he wanted to clean the cat litter, but Ballistabot's already doing that. Uh, so let's have dinner. Let's have an autumn salad. Yeah, oh, uh, we can't get the horse now because it's too late in the night. We'll probably go do that after we finish the day here. So Nikki's still doing her catering job, and Steve hopefully finally got to the gym. Okay, so he got to the gym. Uh, we're gonna go have him work out in scuba gear. Okay. <laughs> Well, he's definitely a cent. Oh, now he's wearing his fancy outfit. Okay. So Steve's in here working out really, really hard. And we got a few ladies in here. Let's see, who do we have? We have, uh. Belinda Crumplebottom. I think she's one of the rich families in the game. We also have. Blanca Crumplebottom. Samuel Goth. And probably another goth, I'm presuming. Well, in any event, let's go ahead and go over here and pump an iron. Oh dear, it looks like the zombies have 
in Raiden. Oh no! That was the character I created! And she likes Steve. Well, okay. That's interesting. So Steve likes my zombie vampire. Would you imagine that? Okay. Well, I guess we could try that out. Oh, right. We can't interact with her because she's a zombie. Well, I guess that doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and talk to Blanca. Let's go with a friendly introduction. And then we'll go back to working out for a little while longer. So while we leave them to do that, we're going to go ahead and check back on Nikki, who has finally arrived home from her catering bot. What we're going to do now is we're going to have her talk to Ant. Alright, Ant, it's time for you to talk to your beloved. Uh, let's see. Let's start with a romantic... Uh, compliment her appearance. Yes, yeah, she's looking absolutely lovely in the full moon. Uh, love under the full moon. Can it be any better? Well, she could be a werewolf, vampire, or witch, or fairy. That's probably the only way it could be a little bit better. But then things would get weird. That's another thing. All right, so Nikki thinks Ant's being flirty. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else would he do? Uh, he would... Let's see what he does automatically. I'm putting my hands off the keyboard. Let's see. Oh, he's... Nikki's being the one that's being flirtatious with him. Well, I hope this works out, because the one thing's for sure... I was really, really surprised when uh, Ant went to visit... Uh, Repo's house yeah. in the it's village household, possible. and Repo started flirting. With him. <laughs> I was so shocked because I was not doing that intentionally. Ooh, it was just an automatic response. I'm so Hi. sorry, Repo, but that was one of the best highlights of the episode. <laughs> okay, so those two are really going. Oh, okay. I, I, I think we get the picture. We need to find a room. Speaking of rooms, uh, let's go ahead and check on Steve because those two are are really at it. Oh yeah, Steve wants to get pumped. Yeah, Steve. Push them blocks. Show that you're the master of workout. Come on. Lift that bar. How many bars are you even lifting anyway? Okay, he's lifting two. Not great, but not bad either. So, he still has the hots, so... Okay, uh... He really likes Nightingale. That's just plain and simple. Can we, can we chase after that ice cream truck? Uh, okay. I guess not. That ice cream truck is a jerk. It just drives around the corner. It goes, na 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 na. Do you want ice cream? Well, guess what? Too bad. I'm going to drive away now. Jerk. That will be our mission for tomorrow for Steve. The hunt for the ice cream truck. So Steve has to hunt for the ice cream truck. Uh, Murdoch has to go buy a horse. And Ant and Nikki need to win the lottery or make a lot of money in order to save up for the wedding that they're going to have. That's another thing. We should probably scout out a location. So if Ant or Nikki is not working tomorrow, we'll have them scout out the area. And it looks like they stopped talking. Well, he started reading a book, which I guess is okay, but we're going to go ahead and start having them go to bed because it's it's pretty late in the day. So we'll do the quick meal, have bread and jam, and then we'll have them go to bed. And sleep in the Crimson Throne. Alright, and... Oh, Nikki's in the bathroom. Nikki! You're, you're holding up the... The good night cycle. Alright, I know you two are supposed to be lovers and everything, but... We need to get this show rolling. Alright, so we'll have you do that. And then you go to sleep. Uh, how about you, Murdoch? What about you? Eh, you're good enough to go straight to sleep, I guess. Yep. For a second, I was wondering who the pink bed was for, but then I remembered that was Steve's bed. Oh, Steve. He just became strong. He won't forget the feeling having worked out all day. Yeah, that that's definitely going to come in handy. Yeah, he just saw the ghosts of the Goths, the richest family in Sim history. Yeah. Well, he's over there pretty much working himself out. After he's done with that, we'll have him go home. And once we are home, 
Uh, let's see. We'll have him take a quick sonic shower. And then we'll have him go to sleep. Okay. And let's take a look at uh, Ballistabot. So Ballistabot's being really good friends with Pablo right now. Oh, you're, 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 you're such a pretty kitty. Let's go ahead and give you a nice pet. Oh, yeah, you're such a pretty kitty. Oh, look, well, it's about so happy. Hello, Pablo. Are you a cute Ooh. kitty? Huh? What? What was that? Oh, you guys don't like each other? Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's pick up the pet. Let's see if that works. Well, I guess, I guess the kitty doesn't like... Ballistabot, okay. Well, let's go ahead and have you tune yourself up. Because you are falling apart, my friend. But the other thing is, I just noticed the dishwasher's on. Uh, let's see. Silent running? Ooh, we could upgrade it so it doesn't make noise. That would be interesting. I'm just hoping it doesn't catch fire. Because if it catches fire... It's gonna burn the house down. We're gonna have Fireman Sam stay for an episode or two, and then I don't know. We'll lose a family member because I'm just glad we didn't lose anybody. And we're gonna go have you recharge as well after you finished maintaining yourself. Because I think that's it. Yeah, Steve is already home and in bed. Yeah, everybody's in bed except for Ballista Bot. Hurry up! Move your tin arse. And we will cycle you for aluminum. And I realize those are two different metals, but I don't care. Okay, so... He's recharging. We're just pretty much fast-forwarding time until something happens. Uh, the house gets invaded by zombies, yeah! Welcome to the zombie apocalypse! In Sims 3, where they just pretty much walk around and go nah at you and just eat your plants. That's pretty much it. I, I don't know if you can actually get one zombie to infect another, because that would be awesome to just have that where you got to be careful where the zombies could infect you at any point. Well, Ballistabot is done. It doesn't look like anyone else is up yet. So let's see, what are we going to have Ballistabot do? Because he can do a lot of stuff. Uh, go ahead and upgrade that to Silent Running, because that will up his handiness skill. Plus, it will make that thing not freak out all the time. Oh, uh, Pablo wants to sniff us, but sorry, Blissabot has things to do. He's got to upgrade the house. But one of the things I know now is that we're going to need to figure out how we're going to have a horse. Oh dear, I really didn't think this through. I was like, yeah, let's get a horse. Uh, and do what with it exactly? It's like, I was. I guess we could have it, the horse here, but I don't know, that, that kind of sucks for the horse. Because I know you have to keep horses somewhere, you know, nice and secure, but it's just such a small area. Well, I guess Murdoch's just going to have to take good care of the horse and ride it outside a lot. Yeah. Because I just don't like the idea of having animals kind of penned up in a small area. I guess it's mostly due to that I lived in... The, now, this isn't saying that I'm country, country. I'm somewhere in between, if that makes any sense. I live kind of far away enough from the city that I'm not a city boy. But I'm not kind of all-out country where I can talk like a slow guy. I, I, I like the ride horses. Oh, leisure day is here. But anyways, but I just, we have a you know pretty big property. It's not that huge. But it's big enough where, you know, you can I can let my dog out and he can just run like crazy. Just go from one end of the f property to the other. You know, just having freedom to run around. And we've got cows across the street as well. We don't own the cows, but just a big area for them to run around in. But in any event, so it looks like some of the people are starting to wake up. Uh, Murdoch, first off, let's uh, get you to change your outfit to every day. And let's go uh, talk to the zombies? If we go out here, go here. I want to see what happens. Murdoch, we're about to sacrifice you to the zombie horde. It's been nice knowing you. Oh. 
Let's see what happens. Will they react to him? Because they can't go into the house themselves. Let's see if anything happens. Yes, fresh meat. Zombie attack. Oh, we're about to be attacked. By both of them. She sambles up to him. And... What? Well, she just turned normal in mid-zombie attack. That was weird. Okay, well, moving on. Since Murdoch's awake, we're going to go ahead and have him go to the bathroom, take a shower, and then, uh, let's see. Uh, let's have breakfast. Let's have waffles. We're going to have waffles for breakfast. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's Steve. Come out. Hello, Steve. Uh, right. I keep forgetting we only have one bathroom. We technically have two now, but let's go ahead and use that. Use that for a quick cleanse, and then you are going to have juice. Uh, let's see. Oh dear, Murdoch singing in the shower. You should see, hear him in real life. I hear he's quite the... Oh dear, I don't even know a famous singer that sings a cappella or opera. Well, if you can think of one, he sounds like that. Uh, Nightingale Trident would like to check with... Jack? Okay. Yeah, she wants to check with Nikki. Well, I guess that could work. Nikki... It's your mission to hook up Nightingale <laughs> with Steve. Does. That apparently is the goal. Because Steve has been all around town. He's been to the future. He has struck out there. But apparently he, ha he has good chemistry with uh, Nightingale. So this ought to be good. But in any event, while Nikki goes ahead and talks to Nightingale, uh, we're going to have Steve continue to get ready and... Let's see, does he have work today? That's the first thing I need to check. He does not have work today. Um, he, I wonder, do we want to send him to visit Nikki? Or not Nikki, uh, Nightingale. Uh, that's the villa. Okay, so they're not in at the moment. Uh, let's have Steve go to the festival and take Nightingale out. That could work. So while Steve's doing that, because I don't think she'll be available because she's right now talking to Nikki, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Steve. Steve, or Steve, fantastic. Okay, so we're going to basically put him through the bathroom cycle, have him go through everything. Uh, let's see, don't serve breakfast, have a quick meal of bread and jam, and for now we're going to have you continue refining your writing skill only because we got so many active things that we need to look out for or we're planning for today that i kind of don't want him to be missed with his specialness because after all we're still waiting for the report from nikki winning the lotto ticket uh, which i don't know if it will show up anytime soon but in any event so murdoch what are you doing uh uh, oh, he's trying to... What What are you doing, Murdoch? Uh, do you not remember how to use waffles? Continue cooking. Come on. Uh, okay. Is there something wrong? Do we need something to make waffles in? Let's go to appliances, because apparently you can't do anything without it. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, microwave. Uh, exploded food, melted containers. Okay, I don't think this is what we need, but let's have it anyway. Uh, we'll have it on the corner there. Yeah, that seems like a good spot for it. So we got a microwave, and then what else do we need? machine not really I'm really trying to figure out what we're missing uh, I don't see what we're missing because Murdoch apparently is having great difficulty making waffles uh, can we grab that at all 
baking dish. Okay, we moved the baking dish. Let's see if you can make it now. Yes, I know it's not there anymore. I moved it for you since you're incapable of cooking. Oh my goodness. What is the matter with you, Murdoch? It's freaking waffles. Make them. Okay, Murdoch has completely shown us that he is unable to make waffles. Uh, let's see. Can you make pancakes? Do you honestly want to spend the money to make pancakes? Because of your inability to make waffles. Wait a minute. No? It's working. Blessedabot, did you do something to the oven? Because Murdoch won't put the waffles in there. Well, Murdoch's now making pancakes. We'll see if that works out. And Steve went to enjoy the outdoors. Oh crap, I forgot we sent Steve to the park. Uh, hello, kid. Trust me, you do not want to be talking to Murdoch right about... Or Steve right about now. Uh, hello. Yeah, we gave a friendly introduction to that random lady. While we try to see if Nikki's shown up here at all. Nope, that's not her. Uh, nope, that's not her. Her. She has blonde hair. Where are you, Nightingale? Are you here at all? Who are you? Alice Fitzgerald. Why does Alice Fitzgerald sound like someone I'm... I created? Oh, well. Well, oh shoot, I forgot. He hates the outdoors. He's plagued by nature. Well, it looks like a lot of people are showing up here anyway. This may have not been the best idea, because he hates the outdoors. Well, in any event, let's see. Does, does he know? Uh, oh, that's why he, Alice Fitzgerald is here. That, she's his boss. Ah, yes, we do know Nightingale. Uh, let's have a chat with her. And then let's invite her out. Oh, shoot. Uh... Cancel that invite out because it looks like it's starting to rain now. Uh, yeah. We'll just have him do that and then we'll probably have him come home after that. Because it's starting to rain. Well, let's go ahead and go back to Murdoch because with Murdoch we were planning on buying a horse. Um, uh,. What happened to your pancakes, Murdoch? Murdoch, what happened to your pancakes? Are you freaking kidding me? What happened to your pancakes? <laughs> Murdoch, I can't make anything today. <laughs> okay, Murdoch. Just try to make something. Come on, man. We know you can do it. It's the trial of a century, but we know you can do it. Oh, Nikki's starting to get hungry, too. Nikki, uh, let's see. Have a quick meal. Have bread and jam. Uh, use that. Uh, go ahead and take a bath. And then, let's see. How's our relationship with Nightingale? It's actually pretty good. Uh, let's chat. And then we'll invite Nightingale over so she can actually meet Steve. And we can solve that problem together. But we still need to get Murdoch to eat something. Yes, we know you're dying of hunger. Just make the freaking pancakes. Oh my freaking goodness. Just forget it, Murdoch. Just have for something. What in the freaking world is your problem? Oh, is it that? Uh, let's go ahead and clean this up. Blissabot, clean up that spot on the floor because that apparently is Murdoch's bane of being able to do stuff. Wait, something's in the way? Oh, the dishwasher's in the way. Okay, I don't know why. But we'll take it and move it over here. Don't mind us, we just moved the dishwasher into the middle of nowhere. Okay, so Blissabot's gonna clean up that spot on the floor. Oh, that was from the fu- <laughs> Nikki, you're not supposed to put that stuff there. Great, now we can't move it back because Nikki put some stuff in it. Uh, let's see, can we move it? 
Okay, we can still move it. And boom. Hopefully that fixes Murdoch's inability to make pancakes or waffles. Because that was just embarrassing. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and take out the trash, and then... Uh, let's see, what else can we have you do? Uh, I guess we can have you continue to learn how to create and design nanites. Uh, actually, design trait ships. Because if we have Ballistabod do that, we can possibly get him to learn how to make the sentience ship himself. If he doesn't freak out trying to go around the radio. Alright, let's take a quick look at Murdoch. Oh my goodness, Murdoch, what? Oh, I was about to say, I thought he hadn't eaten anything and he was just about to die of hunger again. So Ballistabod just improved his bot building, okay. Nightingale Trident's party, which Nikki has been invited to, starts in one hour. Okay. Attend party. This is interesting. Uh... Okay, that is pretty cool. So Nikki just got invited to a pool party at Nightingale's. That's awesome. I've never had that happen before. Well, mostly because I never had any rich friends. Not that I have any. Uh, anyways, Murdoch, we are going to have you visit the horse park. Where is that? I know it was around here somewhere. So, um... What is taking you so long? Oh, you're bathing. Uh, let's see, what's this? Yeah, Mary Fantastic. Okay, so if it wasn't already self-evident, we really, really need to start that marriage soon. And let's see. Ballistabot discovered something we don't care. Okay, so Murdoch, uh, we want you to go over here and buy a horse. This will be interesting because I've never owned a horse in this game before. Oh, what should we call a horse? I realize this is kind of a bad time to ask because you guys can't exactly respond to this episode. But, oh man, this this is really interesting. Wait, Nikki, where are you going? Oh right, she's going to the pool party. Well, in any event, actually, I think it's a good point to end it here. We had so much happen today, but we got so much coming up. Guys, in the comment section below, I really want to know your input. Uh, first off, Murdoch's horse. What should we name it? If, you know, boy versus a girl name or just generic name. Uh, second thing of all is, should we pursue uh, this courtship between Nightingale and Steve? It's just interesting because the, the richest vampire zombie in the world just fell for the most evil, maniacal, crazy, insane guy in the Harris household. And that's saying something, because I call myself Howling Mad Murdoch, and I'm not the crazy one. But in any event, so the main thing is, what should we name the horse, and in terms of a uh, wedding, who should we invite? Because obviously we're going to invite Ripple Girl over there, but who else should we bring into the party, or into the game, really? You know, do you want yourselves to be inside the game? Or better yet, do you know of, like, any shows, or better yet, like, anime shows, where I should bring some of the characters from that, create sims, and put them into the game? You know, put your thoughts into the series below. But in any case, guys, in the next episode, we're going to enjoy Nightingale's pool party. Murdoch's going to get a horse, and we're going to continue our plans to get the best wedding for Ant and Nikki possible. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, the adventure continues. Bye-bye.